Hey, Tommy, just get me an oil pan tightened up here on your 69 coupe and get this thing buttoned up so we can get her ready for you today. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. Tommy's 1969 Mustang Coupe. Get ready, guys. Enjoy. We are snugging them as of right now, and then we will torque them to the appropriate spec once all the bolts are in, in the appropriate manner of inner to outer as though you're torquing a head. I'm just getting the last two end ones right now. I've already snugged all the ones on each side. So once we get that done, we can make sure to torque this to spec, and we can fill the oil pan with motor oil and the trans pan with transmission fluid and check for leaks from there and once she is uh, solid I believe we're taking a look at the fuel sender as well and then once that's all good to go she'll be good to go for you hey Tommy we're sitting here installing the uh, idle arm back up onto the car um, we had to drop the assembly to pull the pan out make it easier so we didn't pull the dang motors out of that bear <laughs> so we got this reinstalled and now I'm gonna be moving on to if I you want to wait one second, ah, the cross member, which will bolt up right, where did I put those bolts? Right here. I just got to move it up around the lines and whatnot, but it'll bolt up right there. Left the bolts in the hole so I know where they go. Once that's bolted up, the car will be reassembled. We're going to drop it, and I believe Robert told me of a leak back at the sending unit of the tank, so... That's going to be next on our list of to-dos, and then I believe, unless Robert finds something else for me here, then uh, the car's good to go. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration.